Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, doing a little quickie in my hubby's little shirt. <laughs> Listen, I was uh, thinking about one of the videos I did, and this whole scenario came to my mind. And I want to share it to you because sometimes we get so discouraged that our sights are lowered, our expectations are lowered. Okay, now I'm going to give you a little story. This is one of the parables the Lord just gave me this morning. Here you are. You're homeless. Life has kicked you in the teeth because of maybe some bad decisions you made or some consequences of some bad choices or just life. Maybe life just happened. It wasn't anybody's fault except for the uppity ups. So here you are, you know, victimized by circumstances. And you are given a key. Somebody tells you, here's a key. Now you can go in and, you know, find yourself a place wherever you feel comfortable. And you, they take you to this house. And the house is actually a mansion. And you're looking like, did this person steal this or what? You know, it just happens to be an extra piece of property they own because they are they got it like that. So they take you to this beautiful mansion and you pull in your little, you, you know, your little uh, uh, thing and, and she tells you or he tells you, well, you can take your sleeping bag and all your belongings if you want to keep them, you can stick them in the basement. So that's what you do. And you go down into the basement. You lug all your stuff down there. And he's giving you the key. And you're real happy and appreciative. And there's a refrigerator on every floor. And I mean, you're just, oh, you're beside yourself because it's full of food. So you go down there. And you're still scratching your head like, how did this happen to me? You know. So anyway, so you go downstairs. And now you get all settled and you're sleeping in your sleeping bag and you're getting all comfortable and, and you know, you realize the place has heat so you turn on the heat and you're really, really feeling blessed. I mean, you are blessed that now you have a roof over your head and everything's honky-dory and, oh, okay. The sad part is there's no TV down there. There's no phone. There, there's only a bathroom. Real basic down in the, in, the, in the basement. But you're making the best out of it because it's, a, it's heaven compared to living on the street. So here you are. Two, two days, three days go by. You've made yourself some something to eat on the little hot plate down there. and I mean, you're really, really getting comfortable. You got water, food, you're good. The person comes back to see how things are going for you and they come to bring you some more things that you may need some deodorant some toothpaste Listerine blah 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 so you know you of course you know you say oh I'm down here and they come down to the basin and they said oh you're getting your stuff situated and he said yeah I got it all set I mean you're telling them how how you've laid out everything and how you're comfortable and oh I thank you thank you thank you thank you just want to kiss their feet you're so grateful and they're they're looking at you strange and you're wondering why they're looking at you strange like maybe you weren't supposed to be here no more than that one night and they look at you and they say you've been staying down here and you're saying well yeah you told me to bring my stuff down here. I told you to bring your stuff down here. Not you. Have you seen the rest of the house? Well, no, it's not my house. I'm down here in the base. Come here, get, get upstairs here. And you go on this grand tour of this beautiful house with marble flooring and pillars and furniture and high class everything chandeliers and a beautiful five star kitchen and 
and sub kitchens on different floors. I mean, every floor is self-contained. And guess what? The guy tells tells you, "What well, you've been down there? This is all yours. You can use anything you want. You can have the run of the house. Sleep in any bed you want. It's yours to use any way you want." And you're sitting there saying, are you serious? Now you already thought you were in heaven in the basement. But you didn't expect any more. It didn't dawn on you that this person would bless you like that. And this is the problem. Thank you, Lord. Here is the point. You don't expect God to bless you any more than at the basement level. So you live your life at the basement level. You set up camp in the basement. You live at the basement level. You live a lifestyle at basement level. You you, your friends are at the basement level. Everything you do, all your activities are at the basement level. Because you can't see yourself having anything better. So you make yourself at home in a subpar existence. Do you know that's the problem with a lot of us? We are so insecure. We've been so run down by life. We just can't believe that God really, really loves us that much. He really wants to bless us. No, no, no. See, that kind of stuff is for special people. The person gave you the run of the house? And you're down there in the basement cooking on a hot plate when you had a five-star kitchen, a king-size bed, beautiful chandeliers, a big screen TV, and you're down there in the basement? I say this to you as a messenger, a messenger from God with a message to you. It's time to climb out of your basement. That's not what God has planned for you. <laughs>